three, we have lots of similarities. He likes ice cream. I like ice cream. He wants to die. I want to die. Good evening, exolots. So, cosplay, something that is quite well known on the internet. Some people love it, some people deem it as the start of mankind's doom. Now, I've never cosplayed in my life, mostly because I don't have the budget, nor do I feel like I have the body for it. So, I simply glance from afar. And I swear to god, if I get another But you cosplayed your cousin comment, I am going to turn you back into a fetus. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello, Exolot. It's sponsorship foul. Normal foul, but stuck in the vintage ad once again. Now, I may be in the 50s, but this microphone is beyond 21st century level of clearness. This video is sponsored by Hollyland Technology, who were kind enough to send me their wireless microphone, the Hollyland Lark C1. Papa can finally afford to eat Auntie Anne's again. Now right away, my favorite feature about this microphone is the charging case that makes me feel like I'm in the Matrix. It gives two wireless microphones making interviews and collaborations that much easier. It's got noise cancellation, the transmission range is 200 meters, so you can hear me all the way from here. They also have the Lark M1 which can be used for both phones and cameras as well. If you're interested, you can use my discount code for lean for 5% off. Link in the description and comments. Thank you again to Hollyland Technology for sponsoring this video. And let's return to our bi-weekly train wreck. Now recently, I got news of this new anime convention and I was very intrigued. So with a brain deficient in dopamine and prone to impulsiveness, I bought tickets and decided to cosplay there with less than two weeks of preparation. Let's go! Hi guys, editing file here. Um, my dumb just realized I forgot to tell you who I was cosplaying. So I'll be cosplaying Angel Devil from Chainsaw Man, a pretty popular anime going around recently. Confession time before we begin, I have never watched a single episode of Chainsaw Man. I know, alright, alright, okay, I know I'm a fraud. The reason is because I'm waiting for the perfect time where I can just binge all of it in one go. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. But I already know quite a bit of the lore from Twitter. I wanted to do Angel Devil because 1. I wanted to cosplay a guy. 2. His drip consists of just a suit and tie. Which is perfect because I don't want to spend money on an outfit. 3. We have lots of similarities. He likes ice cream. I like ice cream. He wants to die. I want to die. It's 2am. I have to get up at like 7 to get ready for my cosplay. So let's just see how it goes. I'll see you in the morning. I regret everything. Uh, well, why do I have so many products? First off, we have the skin preparation. Now my skin turns into a Domino's pepperoni pizza whenever I so much as put a single grain of powder on it. So I tried my best to put a bunch of products to lessen the damage. Ew! I tried to be quirky by sticking my tongue out it like that and I accidentally licked my skincare off. Hey, I know that guy. Makeup part. Okay, so I know that there's makeup styles that people do to like naturally make their eyes look like anime characters. But I have the talent of a chipmunk on drugs. Therefore, I decided to go for just a nice little natural look for Angel. So while I harbor an intense hatred for the color green, the laws of color theory states that it cancels out redness. So I must choose between looking like either an Among Us or Shrek. And we all know who the better option is. Yeah, I'll put one here so you can see it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. So then came the context. Angel Devil has like yellow, orange eyes, I believe. But I already have these bright pink contacts with prescriptions in them, so I just use those. And once again, here's a montage of me being in absolute pain because my body is screaming at me that this will blind me. However, what's the point of sight if I can't look hot at all times? Can I get an amen? Oh my god, my eyes. Uh oh, it's happening again. What's going on? 
Never mind, I flipped it over and I solved it. After the eyeshadow, this was the look. Oh yeah, the look of getting punched in the eye aesthetically. Then came the outfit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, so here is the uh, fit. There's a hole here, but hopefully no one can see that. Now, Angel's outfit is just an average suit and tie, which I already have, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to cosplay him in the first place. Then we got some black pants and just squat. I am currently pantless, just so you know. There are no pants. Look, oh, there there is. Move this away. The most difficult part, however, was the tie. I have never tied a tie in the past 10 years. The only time I've ever tied a tie was when I was 7 and was forced to become the class monitor. Never once has a YouTube channel ever effectively taught me how to tie a tie. So take the tie and make it go out of the hole. <laughs> hole. That's what she said. The mere prospect of doing something so adult such as tying a tie, sends shivers down my spine as my hand automatically rejects the motion as if it was a failed organ transplant. However, for the sake of accuracy, some must forfeit their most stubborn beliefs. And I am not that someone, ha! I use a zip tie on this shirt. This shit is so easy. Why is there not more people using zip ties? I suggest as a society, we all stop tying our ties and just invest in these instead. So then it was time for the wig. Hairnet, yowzers. <laughs> and you, <laughs> oh, I look like an orange in the fridge. Ta ding Huh? I don't hate many things, but boy do I hate putting on a wig. Ow. Now as for his halo, the only way to get that style would be use one of those dangly ones that people put on their heads. I'm personally not a fan of that look, so I wanted to go for a more abstract kind of look to complete the cosplay. By buying this giant metal donut and putting it on my head. Also, this scene has no importance. I'm just putting it here because I, uh, I look good in it. Embrace, embrace how good I look in this clip, guys. Please, it's very rare. As for the wings, they cost about five bucks online, and they look pretty alright. Ascension. Except for the feathers falling off whenever the wind blows south. However, we can work with that. I was actually briefly considering how it may be a bad idea to wear wings at a convention where there will be many people walking around in a tight secluded area. But you'll see how that went later on. Afterwards, the look is finally complete and here I am wearing it because I am a visual guide. And also, I am in love with this wig but there is no chance of me wearing this outside ever again. So I walked out my door discreetly feeling quite self-conscious of looking like this in public. Only to immediately bump into a girl who was walking out of the apartment opposite of mine. And she stared me down. She was looking at my soul. And the even worse part is the fact that the both of us were waiting for the same elevator together. And I'm not done yet, no, no. The worst, worst part is that when the elevator arrived, she refused to get on it with me. She just looked at me. She just looked at me while the doors were closing and remained stood. On the plus side, I had the elevator all to myself. After that, I got a grab over to my friend's place where her parents would be driving us to the convention. Whoop, here's my friend. She's dressed as a character from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> We had McDonald's for breakfast and then ventured on to the venue at about 10am. Here, I was feeling much more comfortable seeing the assortment of vibrant neon colored wigs. The line on the other hand... Ah! I was truly kidding the sardines in Spongebob. My wig was falling off with every tilt of my head. People were sweaty. I was seeing more men in maid dresses than women. That's not a bad thing, by the way. 
In fact, that's the only win here. I could feel myself asphyxiating as some girl next to me just started painting her nails while in line. The world is coming to an end. Oh, hey, we're at the front now. So after entering, you're greeted with the indoor space where the artist booths and merchandise is sold. The first thing that caught my eye was this rocket hairpin. This is a rocket, YouTube. I guarantee you this is a rocket. Please don't demonetize me. After 10 minutes of walking around, I was asked for pictures for the first time, which was really awesome. So pretty. What people don't tell you though when you're in cosplay is that once one person finishes taking a photo of you and you just stand around, there will be more swarming around you. I decided to just stand still after taking a photo with one person and then I was just stuck there for the next 10 minutes continuing to take pictures. This guy really pulled out a professional camera and snapped these amazing pics and during this moment, there were a few people in the back taking pictures with flash as well. This is truly my red carpet moment right here. Also, remember when I said that the wings may not be the best idea? Yeah, I was getting absolutely obliterated. My wings were slapping people in the faces, in the back, feathers were flying around. And after 20 minutes, I had a bald spot. But that's fine. That just means there's way more room for me because I enjoy inconveniencing others. I'm just kidding, I crab walked the entire time so I would bother as little people as possible and I probably said sorry more times than I've ever said my name in my life. Afterwards, we sat down to have our meals and experienced the true sensation of wearing clothes and wigs that are absolutely not suitable for Malaysian weather. That's when disaster struck. I had a charm attached on my phone, a charm that my friend had gotten me the first week we ever met. It was Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen, and he was gone. I don't know if someone took him, if he ran away upon his own will, but he was missing. Bro was gone like the wind. I was panicking. How long, how long do you think was it missing for? I don't know, and you know what this mother does? <laughs> he, he leaves my phone without bringing this bell with him. <laughs> I, I, I heard the bell thinking he was safe. <laughs> Unfortunately, even though I retraced my every step and looked at the floor everywhere we went, we could not find him. He's just somewhere out there right now, probably on a listing in Carousel. Also, I was getting so much shit from my friends for my wings taking up space. And then this guy shows up. How is he even gonna enter the doors? Bro is a walking curtain. And by the way, some of these wigs can be a murder weapon. Finally, we had seen enough and it was time to leave. We decided to go to a mall nearby for lunch. And you know, if you had told me before all this started that we were going to do this, I would have probably felt really self-conscious and nervous. But after spending five hours inside a tiny convention stadium, taking pictures and walking in the same circles endlessly, I believe that I have attained enlightenment. I stopped caring because I was so hungry and tired and exhausted. There were groups of people in the mall who just turned to look at us and whisper at each other. But I did not feel a single ounce of emotion. I truly was a hand's breadth away from achieving nirvana. I had my wheel. I fixed my wig and I booked the grab home. And then I realized that during this whole fun ordeal, I had forgotten that I am neurodivergent. The sensory issues that this wig and headband gave me after wearing them for this long. Oh my god! Speaking of God, I felt like I was about to go see him. Also, during the entire ride, in order to distract myself from the monumental pain I was in, I started wondering how awkward it would be to get into a car accident while in cosplay. Like, that would be embarrassing, bro. At that point, I'd hope the crash takes me out because I don't want paramedics seeing me like this. Even the elevators know not to test me today. I want to go pass out so fast. If this thing stops, I'm gonna kill whoever comes in. Okay, no one stopped it. I have never been more excited to rip something off my scalp. Boom. And let's see the damage, okay?
Oh my god, that took my wig cap with it. I thought my wig cap was covering it, that's why it was so flat, but no. I <laughs> I've been eggified. Hmm. Oh my god, it actually hurts to touch my scalp. Is that normal? So yeah, this is nice. I got a two-in-one cosplay. First I was Angel Devil, and now I am Einstein. So that was pretty fun. Actually, um, exhausting near the end. I kind of got like overwhelmed by how I could feel my wig and halo squeezing out what little brain juice I had left. Thank you to- Whoa! So I used to feel pretty scared of asking cosplayers to take pictures with me but now as someone who has been asked it is a great feeling like if they're not looking busy or if they're not mid convo or anything uh, it is an incredible ego boost to have someone ask to take a picture with you it is lovely I also love how I gained a new perception of life and my self-confidence through literally just being too tired to give a shit so that's the end of Niji Gen X but what the f how do I take this off? oh no what what is this mechanism? Isn't this just a beat that goes up and down? Holy shoot, who invented this? Maybe I am Einstein. This, I really want to try more cosplays in the future. And boom, this is why I don't get kidnapped. My wrists, they don't break, they bend. Honestly, I might consider starting a cosplay account because this is fun. It doesn't matter what you look like, anyone can cosplay a character they like as long as it's appropriate and you're having fun. Thank you for watching this video. Um, my head currently feels like it's that photo booth filter. And I will see you in the next one. Surprise punch. Oh, f that actually hurt. <laughs>